everyone, welcome to GSA Life, where we will meet different personalities who are pursuing their passions while maximizing managing their finances. Paano ba yon? Let's find out together. Today we ask, loan para makapagsimula, good or bad idea? Today we are here at Flow, an all-day cafe here in Makati, to meet Nico. He is an executive VA who also coaches and mentors a team of VAs. He's a content creator, he's a live stream host. How does he juggle it all? At bakit G na G siya sa lahat? It's time to meet him. Tara. Hey! Hi! Hello, hello! Hello, Miss B. Nice to finally meet you. Yes. I love it. Yeah, tara. I love it. You have your... Uh, paano ba ito? Can you show it? Yay! I love it. I one of our supers, Nico, from our community. But yeah, um, before we chat, let me just um, order a drink. So yeah, Nico, tell us a bit about what you do right now and what you've been up to lately. Well, lately I've been doing a lot. First, I am a recruiter. Mm -hmm. So I provide a recruitment service to a placement agency okay. in North Carolina. Uh, I provide them nannies. I'm a VA, virtual assistant, and also a team captain where I provide coaching and mentoring as well. And then I'm also a live stream host in an e-commerce app. Mm -hmm. So I started there around 2020. Yeah, I'm also a content creator. Dami ginagawa. I love it. You seem to be thriving now that it's 2023. Yes. But you did mention 2020 and I know that it wasn't always like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, when the pandemic started, you went through challenging times. Can you yes. tell us about that? Yeah. So, yeah, it was really hard um, during the pandemic, especially December 2021. Mm -hmm. um, it was really a hard time. I was also a VA that time. And then the company declared bankruptcy. So, yeah, it was really unfortunate. I was laid off. Mm -hmm. I was part of the team that was laid off. And then I didn't I didn't know what to do, mm. so I researched. Nagtanong tanong ako sa friends kung anong dapat gawin, and then I thought of putting up a small business okay. while looking for a job. I also seek help from my mom. Yeah. She has a small ukay ukay back then. Oh, so my entrepreneurial spirit yeah. and blood ka talaga. Okay, so mm -hmm. January 2022, you started your small business. What was it and mm -hmm. how did you even start it? I also researched about it and then I found out uh, a supplier mm -hmm. of alcohol, isopropyl and ethyl alcohol. So it's really um, an essential thing. That's why I really pushed it. Mm -hmm. um, but then I didn't have um, enough cash or enough funds. Uh, back then. That's why I discovered about um, G-Loan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so can you talk us through that? Because I know many people na gusto mag-start ng small yeah. business. People in our Paano Bata community na gusto yeah. din, pero they don't know mm -hmm. um, where to start. So mm -hmm. what's your story? I looked at it in the app and then there are plenty of ways pala to start it. Mm -hmm. I started with 30,000. Okay. Um, and then monthly, monthly ko siya binabayaran. So, natapos na siya actually oh, wow. end of this month. I love it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And if ever, I will avail again because it's really, um, from my experience, it's really great. Um, basta on time ka lang magbayad and then, uh, yun nga, yung swak lang din sa budget mo. Because you have really naman uh, options. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, you have been diligent sa pagbayad no yes. mm -hmm. monthly. And I know parang merong um, extra perks. Parang um, you yeah. get more things when you do pay on time. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, there's extra perks if you pay on time. Um, it helps in building up your G-score. So, when your G-score builds up, um, magkakaroon ka ng other perks ng G-cash. So, one thing na nabuksan ko, due to diligently uh, paying mm -hmm. in G loan is yung G gives. Yeah. I see that yun yung sa parang if you're gonna check out no tapos ayo mong isang bagsak yung payment, yeah. pwedeng hulugan. Pwedeng installment. Okay, yeah. I have a question because a lot of people 
have this mentality na parang, ay, ayoko umutang. Baka mabaon ako yeah. sa utang. Merong fear na ganun, mm -hmm. na getting a loan might be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. What was your mindset in doing your GMO? For me, you just have to go for it. If you're thinking about uh, building up your small business, if you know how to handle money naman, um, kayang kaya siya. Kayang kaya siyang gawin. And um, yeah, um, it's never too late to pursue your dreams mm -hmm. if you want to start. Pita ka yung pay on time na? Did you find that hard? Pay not on really. time, not ready. Oh, <laughs> so what do you think was your mindset or what is your tip? Paano mo nagagawa? to pay on time. Nakaano na siya sa aking budget. Nasa calendar na siya. So for this day, ito yung babayaran ko. Like for my bills, for this day, ganitong amount and what for what bill. Mm -mm. So naka-schedule na talaga siya for mm, Nice <laughs> tip. I love na meron ka mga tips and hacks like that. So yeah. I am curious. Um, in terms of managing your finances, if you could rate yourself 1 to 10, 10 ang pinakamataas, anong score bibigay mo sa sarili mo? Siguro, ano, 9. Wow! Ang taas! Pero <laughs> yung 9 na yan, gusto natin itaas pa. I do know yeah. that you want to learn more about managing yes. your finances. And um, I do have a surprise for you. So, dito sa paano ba to, we love connecting people, diba? ba? And yes. so, I do know that you have a few financial questions. And yeah. I would like to connect you to... The head of oh G Loan himself, oh. Kevin Yu. Hi, Kevin. Hi. So, this is Nico. He's one of the G Loan success stories. He was able yes. to put up a small business. So, Nico has a few questions for you, Kevin. Sure, go ahead. Hi, Kevin. It's really an honor <laughs> to have this conversation. Anyway, I have two questions. Uh, first is, how do I know if it's a good debt or a bad debt? So, putang or debt isn't always bad for you. So, there are examples of bad debt, especially if it's something that you don't really need. So, that's using your credit card or a cash loan to buy an item like that's super expensive, like clothes or gadgets that you feel like you can't live without, but you really can. So in general, bad debt will be more of a burden to you as opposed to making your life easier. So good debt naman, um, there are a lot of people who use debt for their businesses, like increasing their inventory, making their stores nicer, or reaching more customers by marketing. And people can also use debt to get back on their feet after emergencies or unexpected expenses. So debt can actually be used to improve your lives, um, especially if you borrow responsibly. So making sure that you understand your payment plan and if it fits if it fits your budget, and make sure to of course pay your dues on time. Yes, yes. Very very good, si Nico John. So <laughs> malapit na siyang matapos yes. daw sa G loan niya. Love At talaga. End of month. And what's good about it about G loan? Because if you continue using it and continue using G cash, you actually improve your offers. So you get to build that relationship with G cash. Nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, loan again after. Ah. <laughs> after good after. loan. Good loan. Good yeah. Loan, good loan. Uh, second question is: How can I secure emergency funds? Uh, what should What should be my first step? So ideally, um, emergency funds is something that you save up for over time and it should be easily accessible, the right? But of course, emergency, emergencies can strike at any time. So it's good to have a backup, especially if it's a large emergency. Sometimes you don't want to deplete your whole savings account also. So in case you haven't fully saved your emergency funds, um, you can actually use that or take a loan to, to fund these emergencies. So your emergency loan can be, and it should be easily accessible and ideally short application and approval process and it's fast access to cash given that it's an emergency. Hey Kevin, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to join us. Thanks so much! Thank you! Thank you Bianca, thank you Nico. Thank you so much, Nico, for your time today and for sharing your story, of course. Thank you very much, Ms. B. And of course, um, we're cheering for you na mapatuloy mo lahat ng mga iba't ibang mga ginagawa and while staying in charge 
of your finances. Super thank you, thank you Nico! Means and talaga we need a little help and as I always say, there is no shame in seeking help, even financial help. But of course, it's more empowering to do it in a way that will motivate you to reach your goals rather than cause you more stress. And diba, it's so fulfilling knowing na lahat ng pinaghihirapan mo when you work so hard is put to good use.